I told myself that I wasn't going to react to any Christmas music this month, that it was just going to be me catching up on songs from the year that I missed. But then Sabrina Carpenter did this. So, here we are. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Carson and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, we are going to be reacting to A Nonsense Christmas by Sabrina Carpenter. Now, I just recently reacted to Sabrina Carpenter's new music video for the original version of Nonsense. You can check it out right here. But this is just going to be a reaction to the Christmas version of the song. I saw the clip on TikTok and was shook and wondered if she would actually release this version as a song. And turns out she did, like literally seven hours ago. <laughs> also, this does not mean that Carson's Christmas catch-up is over. Next week's video will be an album reaction and it's one that I'm really looking forward to, so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that. Now, before we get started, if you want to see the entire reaction to this song, I'm going to have that on my Patreon page and it'll be the first link in the description. But with that said, let's jump into the reaction. <laughs> Okay, one thing I'm loving about this version of the song is that there's not many, like, sexy Christmas songs that aren't also kind of creepy. <laughs> like, think about it. There's Baby It's Cold Outside and Santa Baby. And those are just a big nope, you know what I mean? Okay, admittedly, I love the clean version of Baby It's Cold Outside, but come on, it's clean. Like, are you surprised? But what I like about this is that it's taking a song that's already just about two people meeting and vibing and, you know, getting feels for each other and maybe a little sexual is turned into like this really sexual Christmas song that works and I can actually see aging a lot better than a lot of Christmas carols do now. So that's cool. <laughs> Lied a lot. Wait a minute. <laughs> I got snowflakes in my stomach when I kiss him. It's a unique twist on the saying butterflies in your stomach that I'm really appreciating. It makes me think of like a snow globe just in your stomach, kind of just going, ah, you know what I mean? Also, don't ask me what that was. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Relax, Carson. <laughs> I was curious to see how she was going to change up that part of the song because I feel like that part of the song has become the soundbite of the song, but the way she does it here, so good. I mean, including Deck the Halls and Snowballs and it, oh, it's so good. <laughs> That holiday glee, huh? <laughs> Funny how I just mentioned Clayne like five seconds ago. <laughs> I didn't think this video was gonna out me for being a gleek, but here we are. <laughs> when you come down that chimney, it feels so good. Oh my God. The way that I just processed that. <laughs> And the thing is, I heard that line like twice before because I watched the little TikTok video that Sabrina Carpenter did. So like, I had heard it a few days ago and it took me till now to figure it out. <laughs> Ooh. These rewritten lyrics are very well thought out. They match the tone of the song and what it was initially, but completely changes the way the song can be interpreted. I, I really like the the change up here and the extra added, you know, jingle bells as one does in a Christmas song. It, it really does feel like a completely different song, but still the same song. It's like this weird juxtaposition, which is why I'm actually jamming out and enjoying this, even though the only holiday songs that I usually vibe with are 
All I Want for Christmas is You by Mariah Carey and Underneath the Tree by Kelly Clarkson. So the fact that I'm like dancing throughout this reaction, it, it's a good sign. Maybe, maybe I'll add this to a Christmas playlist. But the thing I find the most interesting about this revision is that it's a revision to begin with. I think a lot of people, you know, pump out Christmas music and it's either covers of old songs or some newer songs that sound really generic and basic and like anyone could have come up with it. I like that Sabrina took a, a very popular song of hers, personally one of my favorites from her, and turned it into a Christmas song and did a very good job at it and made it sexual, but not to the point where I feel like it's going to age badly. I am really glad I chose to react to this song. I needed something to kind of get me more into a Christmas spirit and I think this really did the trick. But yeah, let me know what you think of this song in the comments down below. And with that said, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell to be notified whenever I upload. If you want more from me, including my poetry, check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. All of those are at Carson Bodie. Consider checking out my merch store at carsonscreatives.com. And of course, if you want to see the full reaction to this video, go to my Patreon, it's the first link in the description. Now, I gotta go because I'm actually supposed to be at a games cafe, like right now, I'm running so late. And I will see you all with the second edition of Carson's Christmas Catch-Up very soon, bye!